Next at 10, now Paul Soglin released his plan for Madison's operating budget next year. It increases spending 2.5% from last year, putting the budget at nearly $283 million. More than $9 million is dedicated to employee raises, and 42 new jobs are proposed, including five new police officers. New at 10, Matthew Simon tells us why Madison's chief of police is calling those positions necessary. Matthew? Eric Michelle, Madison Police Chief Mike Koval says the idea behind asking the Common Council for more officers is to get more of them directly into our neighborhoods, being proactive instead of reactive. I also think that I'm sort of the canary in the coal mine and I have a duty to tell the people of Madison. Police Chief call. Mike Koval sending out a warning, saying possibly more Madison scenes like this are looming. We need to deal with them from a public safety standpoint because it's very difficult to play catch up. A catch up Koval says could likely become reality if two new officer positions. We're also going to add a couple of neighborhood officers. Like those in Mayor Paul Soglin's 2015 operating budget proposal are not funded. And I think frankly the neighborhood officers are sort of our best way to test the pulse of how we can turn the tide on these things. Unlike beat cops, these officers live and work in their own neighborhoods with their own hours, agendas, and working with their own community activists. They're also doing problem solving, looking at where the neighborhood needs more city services, in which case we can be the tip of the spear for those initiatives. Initiatives, Koval says, if taken seriously early, could work to prevent much bigger future crimes. So it's very much like a social worker with a bad now, the operating budget calls for two neighborhood resource officers, which are different from three officers on the streets. Those would be grant funded. Madison used to have 18 neighborhood officers. That number is now 11. Koval says his ultimate goal is to increase that number back to 18. Okay, Matthew, as far as property taxpayers go, do we know how much this will cost them? Well, as far as next year, the average Madison homeowner is going to pay about $60 more, but that's actually paying for this year's bill. We will not know what you'll pay until the Common Council passes this proposal. That's the operating budget and the other budget, the capital budget, and those bills will not actually go out to you, the consumer, until about 2016. All right, Matthew Simon, our news center. Matthew, thank you.